math is a great motivator for humans because its career starts with zero and it never ends because it goes up all the way to infinity if you're able to solve problems in math you would also be able to solve problems in your life everything around you is mathematics and everything around you is numbers i strongly believe that the only way to learn mathematics is by doing it let us explore the world of math with our crystal portable and micro scale lab These are multicolored dice. We can learn many mathematical concept by using these multicolored dice. So let's see one interesting activity now. I will take different colors of three different dice and I am rolling it. So here I got 6, 4 and 3. Now we will arrange them to form a bigger number. 6, 4 and 3. So we got the biggest number and now we will arrange it to smaller number 3 4 and 6 so here we got smaller number and we can arrange many combinations by using these three numbers for suppose 3 6 and 4 and again 6 3 and 4 and again 4 6 and 3 So like this we can arrange n number of combinations by using these dice. So here we have an animated DVD and booklet. In this we can have all these activities of dice. So this is helpful for parents, teachers as well as students. We are doing next activity with the same dice. Red is seven based. 99% of the market has seven based dice. total of the any two opposite sides of dice is 7 let's see 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 so any opposite side total is 7 in red dice same in blue which is 8 based and same in green which is 9 based many of the children get confused with face value and place value face value doesn't change whereas place value changes with the place for example here we having 4 in units place 2 in tens place 3 in hundreds place if we change 4 to tens place it becomes 40 shift this to hundreds place it becomes 400 so here we got 432 hence we proved that place value changes according to the place and now we will prove about face value if we change number 2 from units place to tens place it's still 2 if we change it to hundreds place also it's still 2 So here we proved that face value doesn't change. Now we will arrange this to form 8 in hundreds place, 2 in tens place and 5 in units place. Total is 825. And now can you guess the number behind these dice? So next concept is number balance. This is called number balance tool. Using this beautiful tool, we are going to learn different four operations of math. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So now we are going to see the difficult operation division on this number two. This is called number balance tool. This is separating bar which holds question side on one side. and answer side on the other side and these are equal weights so by using these weights and this number balance tool now we will check out what is the answer of 9 divided by 4 we will hang a weight on 9 now to balance this we will hang a weight on answer side at Four. Now it is not balanced. So take another weight and add it to four. Still it is not balanced. 
add another weight to 4. Now the weight is more on answer side. We will remove one weight. So by this we got one thing that the answer will be in between 3, 2 and 1. So now let us check on 3. Still it is not balanced. Now we shift the weight onto 2. Still it is not balanced. Shift the weight to 1. Now it is balanced. On 4 we have 2 weights so that 2 is the quotient. And on 1 we have 1 weight that means remainder is 1. So 9 divided by 4 equals to 2 quotient 1 reminder. With this we prove dividend theorem. Dividend theorem is dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus reminder. In our example, 9 is dividend, 4 is divisor, 2 is quotient and 1 is reminder. Let us learn most interesting but equally confusing concept fraction. A fraction means one part of whole. Here we have fraction tiles. This is one complete whole. One complete whole is divided into two equal parts which becomes 1 by 2. If one whole is divided into three equal parts, it becomes 1 by 3. If one whole is divided into four equal parts, it becomes 1 by 4. Like this, we have up to 1 by 12. Now we will do additions of fraction. For example, we will check the answer for 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. We will add 1 by 2 with 1 by 3 to the whole and see it is not equal to 1 whole. So we will remove the whole and check with next number. Again it is not equal to 4 equal parts of 1 by 4. We will remove 1 by 4. And check with the next number. If we remove one piece of 1 by 5, also is not equal. So we will remove and check with the next number. If we remove one piece of 1 by 6, you can see 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 pieces of 1 by 6. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 5 by 6. Is it not simple and interesting? Now we will conclude that the higher the denominator, the smaller the fraction. Is this half full or half empty? These are multilink cubes. Multilink cubes are useful for all the classes and we can learn many concepts like number system, algebra, mensuration, data handling and geometry. Now we will see one activity with this which is sum of first n odd numbers is n square. First odd number 1 which looks like square. To this, we will add next odd number 3, which becomes 2 square. To this, we will add next odd number 5, and it becomes 3 square. To this, we will add next odd number 7, which becomes 4 square and for this we will add next odd number 9. Here 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 which is 5 square 
and it becomes 25. So like this we can add n odd numbers which becomes n square. From this we are proving that sum of first n odd numbers is n square. These are transparent three dimensional shapes and three dimensions are length, breadth and height. To explain these three dimensional shapes on two dimensional blackboards is very difficult to visualize or to understand. So with these three dimensional shapes it is very easy to understand mensuration concepts. Now we shall divide them into two categories. These are prisms and these are pyramids. Pyramids have apex. So now we are gonna prove that the volumetric ratio between a prism and a pyramid is always 1 is to 3 provided height and base are equal. So now we shall pair up a pyramid with respective prism. Cylinder and cone. Trigonal prism and trigonal pyramid. Then quadrilateral prism and quadrilateral pyramid. Pentagonal prism and pentagonal pyramid. Now we will check the heights. Height of cylinder and cone is equal. The height of trigonal prism and trigonal pyramid is equal. So now we will check with quadrilateral prism and quadrilateral pyramid. So the height is same. And now we will check with pentagonal prism and pentagonal pyramid. So the height is same. Now we will check the bases are equal or not. So cylinder and cone, trigonal prism and trigonal pyramid, quadrilateral prism and quadrilateral pyramid and pentagonal prism and pentagonal pyramid. Yes, the bases are also equal. So now we shall prove that the volumetric ratio between a prism and a pyramid is always 1 is to 3 provided the height and the base are equal. So one two and three. Hence we proved that the volumetric ratio between a prism and a pyramid is always 1 is to 3 provided height and base are equal.